Good job. Um, 13 turns. You get a fort. Yeah, we need it. Let us go. Okay. You've constructed a cannon. Well, we need another one. At least another one. Uh, you've constructed a fort in New London. Good, but let's go to political points. We need to stay there. We need to head right back to where you came from. We need to continue on. Jacques Marquette joined Louis de Frontenac, I'm pretty sure that just said. Uh, you need to be... Oh, you can be elder statesman. Alright, well, you can be one. Uh, you need to collect guns. So 900 guns for 900 uh, gold for 150 guns. Nice. Right, let's grab one more. There we go. Cool. So we spent 2700, I think it is. Yeah, 2700 on guns. Plenty of them to go around. Or we'll deliver them somewhere else. Oh. Oh, well that's actually quite good. Only 2%. Nice. Thanks, bro. You're unwittingly Allowing me to fund your own downfall. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's doing it on purpose. He's trolling me. You can go fish. Why not? <laughs> I know, Elder Statesman fishing. I'm sure that pro colonization players, if there's any watching, are rolling over in their graves going, No, oh, what are you doing? That's not how you use Elder Statesman, you fool. I know. I know, but um, I'm trying a di slightly different playstyle this time around. I want to um, I want to try and win without having to face overwhelming military force, though we're probably still going to face overwhelming military force anyway. But that's okay, because we'll be prepared to face it. And that makes it all better. You can just chill. You need to drop these guns off, son. Which means you need to collect them. Take guns everywhere. Um, do you have guns? No, you do not. You will soon. Take those guns there. And do you have a bigger warehouse? No, you don't. You need to get one. Can't afford to do that right now. We need all the money we can get at the moment. Alright, so it's 1660. William Penn. Yes. I will take William Penn. William Penn increases immigration. Immigration is always a good thing, and I keep clicking the goddamn wrong screen. There we go. Immigration. Always a good thing, especially as the English. Okay. So that used a lot of our political points. Yeah. That's alright. He's the last one that we really want from the religion tree, if I remember correctly. Yeah, apart from Harvard, but Harvard's kind of past his use-by date at the moment. And I guess Hawthorne. Hawthorne would be nice, but only if we can uh, get him at the end there. Military points. We could, conceivably, at least, skip the rest of these people and go straight to Don Pedro. In fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to skip the rest of them and go straight to Don Pedro. So everybody who's creating military points, stop it, go to political. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, I'm pretty sure that was everybody. So we had one settlement making them. <laughs> We're so productive. There we go. So William Penn has joined us. Hooray. You can be a soldier. And you can arm up. Good. And then you're going to go over to Point Silverton, because they currently have no soldiers. You, sir, you're going to accept these guns. Um, might hold on to those ones for now. It's actually a perfectly conceivable strategy to build a lot of wagon trains and then just load them up with guns, excess guns from other places, and then just send them over to where you need them. Uh, do you have any guns? You do not have any guns. Well, we shall have to remedy that. You can have those guns. Do you have guns? No, you don't have guns either. Well, in that case, I'm going to send... Oops. I'm going to send this fellow back down here with his guns. He's going to drop some off at Plymouth, grab the rest of them from the galleon at Kingsport, and then distribute them in other places. 
Thanks. Actually, seeing as we've got the t seeing as we've got the chance, you like us a lot. So if we made a oh, don't like us enough. All right, what about our friend Wagaba? Why that guy Harawak? Really? Oh yeah, you really don't like us because we've settled in places really close to you. Fair enough. Um, you might like us enough. Hello. Sure, we'll take a defensive pact with you. Uh, do we already have one with um, Cherokee Man? May. No, we don't. We have one now. Thanks. And Coloradus. Do you like us enough for that? No. Um, don't want to have one with Monty. Logan, you're pretty chill. Yeah, hey, you're a chill dude. No? Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, dump those there. And then the wagon train can have the rest of them. Continue. Excellent. You are going to be another Elder Statesman. And you are going to go to New London. Yes. And you're going to fish as well in another most disgraceful use of Elder Statesman. Ah. Um, actually, no. You can just take up a gun. Congratulations. You've been promoted to a soldier. There you go, you can take those, and then, sail, then run along over to there. And continue. It's 1662 AD, so I believe once it hits 1700 you are forced into a hundred turns of countdown yeah I know a hundred turns of countdown that just sounds terribly like a TV show no you can't have access to my lands thieving Dutchman um I completely lost my train of thought what was it I've lost it but had it and then I lost it it was... That's right, you get a countdown with 100 turns left to declare independence before you're forced to do it. So, hopefully uh, we can declare our independence before that time. Because that would be really swell. But for that, we'll need lots of founding fathers. We'll need political founding fathers. So you can also be a soldier. And you... Oh, really? Not enough guns. Wow, that's a first. Well, let's rush by this guy. And then we'll get a magazine. You can just chill there. And you need to grab those. Sweetness. Um, how many guns do you have? 75. You could do with some more. Come hither. Go there. And you guys defend. Uh, that, was, that was a bad sound message, but what was it for? I don't know. Continue. <laughs> Whatever it was, I'm sure it wasn't important. I see you there, Spanish caravel. Uh, let's go with the magazine. And you can also defend. I'm expecting Jamestown to come under heavy assault. You can do that. Well, can you hit him from where you are? No. Well, in that case, you can just stay there. And this time, I'll remember to use you. Yeah, take these guns. Congratulations, you are now armed for a revolution. You, you need more guns too. Come hither. Congratulations, you have been armed for the revolution. Vive la liberté. And yes, I know that's entirely wrong for French. Mm, you constructed a warehouse. Good. That means we can store more stuff there. But for now, I need you to work also on political points. Thank you. Thank you, Inca Man. Um, actually, we might have enough guns here. Yeah, plenty of guns. Plenty. Go back to making them. 
Okie dokie. And Spanish Caravel. Not in there yet. So you're in the darkness somewhere. I will find you, and I will kill you. I see you. Prepare to die. Excellent. I'm tempted to send my privateer, because I believe if we go to victory conditions, where is it? There it is. Louis de Frontenac is actually doing quite well on the whole liberty thing, so I'm curious as to whether or not he's going to try for liberty and independence. So we will sail down and see what he's doing and raid his shipping because really San Martin's not going to be doing anything. He's just sort of chilling there now. He's he's pretty much out of steam. There's no way he's going to continue to be anything of a threat. Expert farmer fall there. So we can then, just, then send the expert farmer down here. You need to grab these and then send them over to Jamestown. There we go. And where's our soldier without guns? There he is. It's like doctors without borders, except lethal. Alright, you can stay there. Cool. You've constructed a fort. What would you like to work on next? Um. Yes, actually. Fortress sounds like a swell idea. No, he got Samuel Adams. That son of a bitch. Yeah, I spent too long getting the other founding fathers. He grabs Samuel Adams. Samuel Adams increases Liberty Bell production by the tax rate. I really need to get John Jay. But I should be able to get John Jay. Or Patrick Henry, whichever one comes first. Patrick Henry. Actually, the plus three Liberty Bells per town hall is probably better. He's probably not got, got that high of a tax rate. Uh, yeah. Though I guess I should have been working towards that sooner, so let's work towards it now. Here, create Liberty Bells. Uh, we should be creating... Yeah, 500 gold's actually not that uh, expensive. We should be creating... Excuse me one moment. Okay, so if you're paying attention, you'll notice that the time has indeed changed up here. I may or may not have just lost a couple of hours to Rome 2. It may or may not have been glorious. Spoiler, it was glorious. Uh, but I did remember you guys, so here I am. I'm going to finish off this set. I'm going to do probably about 20 minutes worth of recording for this one. Uh, I did forget to save, though, when we were up to um, the end of the last bit before if you guys heard the phone call uh yeah so i forgot to save like a derp because i may or may not have been a little bit excited but it only took us back a turn i believe so we'll go with elder statesman again and i think samuel adams was just taken by louis yeah okay sam adams but we're going to go strong for john jay so we've gone back a turn i think it's just one but it might have been two uh let's see do we need you? Nah. Not there. I believe I was sending him to New London. No? No, apparently I've already done that. Oh. Uh, Georgetown, maybe? No, you have one too. Everywhere has one. Um, well, we can stay here. Why not? Sit in there, help generate some crosses, and we will go for... Actually, no. We'll just go full out with Liberty Bells. Now, get our rebel sentiment up, get guns and everything being produced, get everything prepared. And we want to go with building newspapers as well. Plymouth, that's where he was going. Alright, well this can wait a turn. Actually... Yeah, you can go. You'll go. Uh, you're all good. You're all good. You need one. Kingsport can probably get away with not having one. You need at least one. Uh, you need a gun. So, there you go. Gun. Um, let's see. You don't have one either. There we go. There we go. And that should be everything. Okay, cool. 
So we've got things sorted. Wait, no we don't. Is our ship back? A galleon. Maybe. Sorry, I'm a little bit lost at the moment. No, I can't remember. Galleon? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hmm. Maybe it took us back a little bit further than I thought it had. Oh well. Let us get to it. This is a good time as any, anyway. And you can defend. You were collecting guns, I believe. Yes, you were. One set of guns. Are you taking them to here? Nope, you have some. You have some. You have some. No, you were taking them back to Port Royal, weren't you? Yes, you were. See, guys, I'm getting with it. I know what I'm doing. I'm totally a professional. Back you go. Alrighty. So we're starting on the political points, the proper political points. We've got plenty of um, military points. We're probably just going to skip everyone. Except maybe the Marquis de Lafayette, but probably him too. Cool. So the king will probably become alarmed in a moment or two about the amount of Liberty Bells we have. You need a printing press. Actually, that's more effective. Everywhere is going to build printing presses. One, two, ah, yes. Oh, you require, wait, what? Oh, no, that's not what I want. Go away. I want this printing press. There we go. And then newspapers as well. Hang on, so what are you building? No, oh, you're building printing press, printing press, printing press. Uh, printing press. Printing press. Mm. No, we sort of need the fort. Cheaper to buy the fort and then go build the printing press. You're doing well already. Cool. And they already have a printing press in Jamestown anyway. Sweetness. So there you go. Have those guns. Julio's. And let's get to Liberty Bell producing. Continue on. King of The King of England will probably be alarmed in a moment. Constructed a fort in Fort William. I would now like you to construct a printing press. No, John Jacob Astor, you're not quite that great. Fuck off, Louis. Seriously. Stop it. Had enough of your shenanigans. Alright, so where are we up to? 3% of the people support revolution. We've got, f we've got a fair amount of soldiers right now. We need more, though. Luckily for us, we can get lots more. Once we declare revolution, because we will be taking all men are free. Have you got guns? You do have guns. Somebody gave the Indians guns. And it wasn't me. I swear. I didn't do it. I am innocent of all charges. Come on, elder statesman. Get to where you need to go. You went to the wrong place, didn't you? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay, um... Well, that's alright. I want you to sail here, because we're going to try and get a couple of shipments of stuff off before the end. So, load up all of those, and that, actually, are we even transporting silver? I think we are. Yes. Yes, we are. Alright, good. Um, back we go. Jamestown, no, you need those guns. That's not cheap. Maybe if we can sell stuff. And sell enough of it, that is. Then I'll consider it. Uh, purchasing this outright, that is. You can stay there for now. We need you to hang out in there. And you, Mr. Shipman, can head home. Need more guns. Alright, good job, Jamestown. Alexander von Humboldt. See... You're useful, but probably not right this second. Um, yeah, I'm tempted to just let him go, because I'd rather get Patrick Henry or John Jay or somebody like that. They're more useful. 
Yeah, sorry Alex, sorry Alex, you're out. You don't make the cut this time. Edumacate. Okay, so you'll take 20 turns. Oof. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about this education system for this game, is that it takes so bloody long to get anything done. Alright. Now hopefully you'll be able to capture some guns. From the Frenchies. Because I suspect that the Frenchies are planning their own revolution. He's got cannons, dragoons, soldiers. He's starting. He's getting ready. How much rebel sentiment does that have? 100% in Quebec. 100% in Cayenne. Good God. No, I don't want captions. Actually, speaking of, we should delete you. Alright, back in we go, and enter. Religious unrest has... In oh, increased immigration. Cool. Eli Whitney. Not even useful. Patrick Henry... You're a godsend. Thank you. Nice. You. Get in that town hall. There we go. Plus nine. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so we got a... Master Carpenter, it says. No, stop it. Master Carpenter? Yes. Farmers, farmers, mm, not really worth it. You. How much does it cost to make you a soldier? 450. Nah. Nah, you're all good. Won't worry about that. Not for now. Uh, have we got another population growth pop? No. There will be one, but not quite yet. We need more soldiers. More soldiers everywhere. That's alright. We'll get there. We will get there. Patrick Henry has joined us. Hooray! The King of... The King of England, I keep thinking that I should be saying the King of Spain, but I don't know why. The King of England is alarmed at the rebel sentiment in New England. He's added seven units to the English Royal Expeditionary Force, because he is a bastard. Next, we need an armory. Just because. Uh, yes, get an armory. If we can produce guns, that's a plus, but we probably won't. I believe though that if we have an armory at least, if we grab the Marquis de Lafayette, if I can click on the right bloody screen, if we grab the Marquis de Lafayette, he increases production of guns regardless of um, whether or not you've got uh, anyone actually working in there, because he increases gun production of places you could be producing them. Sorry about that. Anyway, as I was saying, the Marquis de Lafayette, very useful. So hopefully we'll be able to grab him if we can kickstart the. Mm, see, I don't really want to kickstart the civil, the war of independence without Don Pedro. But if you turn down Lafayette, you can't get him again. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, all is well. You're running out of storage space. Let me have Plymouth. There we go. Hmm. Apparently. Oh, well, in that case, after you've built the printing press, I suppose we'd best build the warehouse. Sounds good to me. Okay. So let's continue on. 1670. You've constructed a printing press in New London. What would you like? I would like. Well. Yeah, get a newspaper. That's why we got Ben Franklin anyway. Yes, get that. Uh, yes, get that. Sell all of those. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Get on board. We need guns. 150 of them. 300. 450. There we go. Sail back. Now, presumably the king is going to go, I must increase your taxes because you keep doing this. Keep buying guns. Yes. Yes, we do. We don't like you. Just FYI. Hopefully you got the memo. Continue. Alright. Get back over there. So I do want to have a little bit of a think about what we're going to do in terms of the actual revolution itself and whether or not we need to grab more soldiers, as in uh, veteran soldiers before we kickstart the revolution, so I'm going to end this set here. 
And in the next one, presumably, we will be going to war with the king for our independence. Vive la Révolution, as the French would say, in France, where they live. <laughs> anyway, this is Grey Hunter saying I shall catch you in the next episode.